Hello guys, I know I've had these sitting around for a few days, it's just that I would have gotten them early except, well, had a sore throat and stuff, and it wasn't really the most fun because I had to work as well, so, yeah, anyways, have trains, and I did see the movies from these trains before I got the original Thomas and Glenn, and as seen in the adventure begins, which I actually did watch, believe it or not. I actually watched that movie just a few days ago. Well, yesterday. And I actually thought it was pretty faithful to the original series. Albeit it had some twists like Glenn to sell toys and also other things like showed other points of view like with Edward. But otherwise it was pretty faithful. And then, of course, Black James is pretty good. Edition, very nice touch. And I will admit, I don't like why I have to ask Ark this. Why was Henry in his new shape? He needs to be in his old shape, you morons! And then there were a few little bit of foreshadowing things like Annie and Clarabelle, the names painted on his sides. I didn't think they got those painted on the sides until after Thomas adopted them, after he rescued them. But we also have here to review the Breakaway Bridge set, which features my first normal track Master Thomas because I have that snow one that I got last October with the one set, and this one's the one where you got the balancing act, as I call it, and then we got the LB and SCR Thomas. Anyways, we're gonna pop these trains out and actually see them on the set. Ah, yes, the box opening shot, the shot that many people like, and you can see this little. Needles for my Christmas tree when that was up. There we go. Box is open. Let's slide the stuff out. Well, since it's new track master, it just, it just falls out. Oh, I forgot about more tape. Because he used so much tape on here like Hasbro. Alright, it's one item open, and let's let this stuff out. Oh, it comes with instructions and cardboard. Yay, cardboard! And then we got a free Thomas from his little plastic cell. If I can find a little tab. Oh, I found it. There we go. Thomas is free from his prison. His plastic prison, and we don't need this box anymore. Goodbye, box. Go where you belong. The dumps. Let's get these trains out. I'm gonna get these ones out off camera. You guys remember, there's a pretty cool touch how they have a classic style old CGI Thomas on here. That is a really classic touch. And if you've not noticed, I did touch up the buffers on each of the locomotives, like what I usually do. And it's interesting, then Glenn, he has black buffers. He probably didn't even need those little buffers on there. I get Thomas and the other characters. They're not painting for some reason. Really, F Mattel? Why do you have to be this cheap? But anyways, with that out of the way, let's get these trains on the rails and test them out. Start off with Thomas that came in this set. And it kind of needs to be real. Okay, yeah, he's derailing. Now I'm sure you've seen this set on YouTube and how it all works. And I am looking forward to getting that one tail of the Braves set one of these days. I'm sure people have, well, I know people have read and looked at many times as well as also that one set that was shown up the Toy Fair with Thomas. <coughs> Where you can actually make him do a spiraling dive 
is really freaking cool. Let's see, it's like a balancing act. You think he's gonna crash, but Thomas doesn't. He actually survives. Anyways, let's put another train on. Let's put on Thomas in about 1915 colors. And I know we used to have been explaining this out before, but really, Mattel, why couldn't you paint these little sp it's white? They needed to be painted. And then, like you see, what I'm pointing out as well, number seventy <coughs> <coughs> must mean the seventieth anniversary as well as also <coughs> Thomas should have been that ogre, a dark brown, not the screen. That's southeastern Chatham Railway. I think that's what it is. Southeastern Chatham Railway, something like that. I'm going to see those Thomas for a spin. <coughs> I'm guessing this set kind of makes me think of Tale of the Brave in a way. Like, because that one, it needed a bit of action in it. And this is kind of an action scene thing. <coughs> but anyways, let's put Glenn on. The character that only showed for like about a minute. And it was never seen or heard from again. The coffee pot, the locomotive. The supposed original number one. Which I see they didn't even bother to put on him. But well, he's our first world to boy track master character that we released. <coughs> Very boxy fellow he is. But anyways, let's have some fun. Let's get some more trains out. <coughs> now that's some action. Also, thing to know is that Glenn actually has narrow gauge uh, sleep truck. Anyways, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, in about three weeks, for those of you who are bronies and Pegasus sisters and into things like otaku, anime, and things like that, will be anime detours coming up. And I'm actually going to be cosplaying with a certain favorite character that people might know of. Just got this thing today. I think the way he kind of gave it away. But anyways, that's about it. I will see you in my next video, whenever that talking video be, anyways, goodbye.